everybody, it's Kristen. So, yeah, I understand why this is a little intimidating for people to start their videos without any makeup on. It's a little bit frightening for me. Um, but anyway, I am going to attempt to do a tutorial for you today. Um, I have no idea how long it's going to take, so I'm not going to chit chat here in the beginning too long. I'm probably just going to get into it. But the look that I'm going to do is the one that I did um, toned down a tad, probably, for um, the when I went to that wedding and had my hair and my extensions and all that jazz. Um, a lot of people asked for that, and that was with the Naked palette, so I'm going to do that. But I also thought it would be a good um, I, opportunity to demo the Chanel Perfection Lumiere. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to start with primer. The primer that I've been using, and I'm gonna, once I finish this, then I'll switch into that Sue Devitt one that I got, is the Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. And um, let's all remember I am no professional. <laughs> I am just somebody who's taught myself how to put makeup on my own face, and that's what I do. So I just pull it on my fingers, and I put like this, and I don't use a brush or anything. You know, I always think those, the Pixie Boo girls, they use a brush for everything. Um, their moisturizer and their primer and everything. And I just don't. So my skin isn't bad at all lately. I have a few things kind of here and here, but that would be from getting a little something something waxed right there. <laughs> so I always get a few little breakouts, even though I have some stuff to put on it. Um, but it's not too bad this time. But I've been using one of the lotions from my new beauty test tube, and um, I really like it. Of course I do, because it's like $90 or something like that. Okay, so then I just put a pump and a half or so of it on my hand, and I just kind of dot it all over my face. You do have to work kind of fast, because this dries really fast. Okay, and then I take my F84 and I just kind of pull it around and I buff at the same time. This is the quick, the quick way. I bring it down my chin. So you see I'm, I'm kind of applying and buffing at the same time with this brush, which is what I, one of the things I really like about it. I always cover my eyelids. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that or not. I've always wondered if that's maybe one of the reasons why my... If I don't use a good primer, why my eyeshadows tend to crease. Even with a primer, my eyeshadows will always crease towards the end of the day. And I don't know if that's just me or if it's everybody, but... And then I'll take a little bit what's a little bit left, and I always go over this cheek. A little bit on this cheek. Because that's where I get extra red, so I try to cover that up a little bit more. I hope it's okay that I have the camera here, but I'm looking here. Um, I need to see my mirror. I'm no professional. That always makes me think of... Did you guys watch American Idol back when that William Hung was on? And he would always say, or not always, but he'd say, I have no professional training. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just cracking myself up. Okay, so then I used my... Giorgio Armani corrector in number one. And I just go here and here. And a little bit, I have, a, I have a vein right here that I like to try to cover up. And then I use my ring finger and kind of pat it in. I'm so self conscious right now, you guys, of whether. I'm doing things the way you're supposed to do them, or doing things the way I do them. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. This is how I do it. And then I use my Milani um, HD Advanced Concealer. I do a couple clicks. I know a lot of people do this after they do their eye makeup. I don't. A little around my nose. I'm just one of those people that I kind of have to do everything in the 
in the same order or the next day or, or, or later that day or whatever, I could be like, oh crap, I totally forgot my concealer because I was going to do it after and then I got out of my norm. And then I use, this is my Inglot brush I've shown you guys before. It's the 4SS. Any big fluffy brush, of course. Boy, my nose is itchy today. Okay. And then I also, um, oh yeah, no, that's everything. <coughs> okay. Now I am going to, again, this could be totally wrong, <laughs> but it's what I do. So then I do a little powder. Oh no, that's not true. That's a lie. First I'm going to do my brows. Um, and I tend to put my um, eye primer on before I do my brows to kind of let it dry a little bit. Again, I don't know if that's right or completely dumb, but that's what I do. So I'm using the Real Techniques Dome Shadow Brush. And the primer I'm using today is Soft Ochre. I think probably on that day I used um, my Urban Decay Primer Potion, which I am now out of. I do find that that one stays way better than anything else, but it doesn't, like, blank out my lids as well. I don't feel like it's as pigmented. And maybe I need to be using like Eden or something, but you know, Urban the, that primer brush is the first one that I bought way back in the day. That's why I kept buying that particular color, the purple one. Okay, and now the thing I'm currently using for brows is what you saw me get, or you saw me show you in a haul video, and that's the Shutemura Hard Pencil. Um, it says hard nine. And I don't see the color on it anywhere, but I know I checked. I know that I ordered seal. I asked um, Lisa and Heidi which one they thought, and they both said seal. So that is the one that I ordered. And it is funny, you know, I've used this now for, mm, I don't know, a few days. And... It doesn't even look like it's moved. <laughs> so, I mean, this this pencil could last me the rest of my living days. Um, okay, so I just kind of fill mine in. You know, I'm I'm not a brow professional. Boy, if I keep saying I'm not, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. People are gonna stop watching me. <laughs> so I just kind of try. I I always like the brows that kind of go up and then down. You know, like the pixie woo girls do all the time. But I just don't think I have the shape for that. So I just kind of try to work with the shape that I have. And for one, for some reason, this brow on this side is a little bit um, shorter. So I just try to elongate that so they kind of look the same. Holy mo Moses, it's eight minutes in already and I haven't even started anything on my eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to powder. The reason that I like to do my brows first and then my powder is that I, I like, you know, I, in my head I think that the powder kind of sets the brows. True or not, I don't know. And I'm just using my big fluffy um, SS150 from Sigma, which I like way better than MACMA, and my Chanel Loose Powder. And this is the one in Translucent 20, and it's, the color is called Claire. Okay, so that is that. That looks like this. And then, this is kind of dangerous. You guys are going to get to see me use my um, Too Faced Chocolate Bronze, or what it's called, Chocolate Soleil, for the first time, actually. I finally finished up um, my NARS Laguna yesterday, so Chocolate Soleil is. And I think I'm going to change brushes for this. I have been using, I washed it last night, but I have been using my um, Sigma... F20, which is the flat paddle brush, but I want to try to. I'm going to try using this tapered brush, which is the tapered face F25. So I just kind of. Holy crap! It totally does smell like chocolate. And go down.
So I kind of do the bottom part of the 3E e first, and then I go like this. So otherwise I think it looks funny. And then I do the top part. I get hair all over my face. <laughs> Okay. I like the color. Seems to work. Smells yummy. What's not to like? We'll see how it wears. Okay. And blush. Okay, I'll use the same blush that I used that day, which is the Lorac Solomy. And this came in that close-up kit. And as you know, I'm in love with this blush. In love. Okay, I'm going to use my Sigma version of the 168. I actually don't have the MAC version of this. And then for some reason with this blush, I kind of keep it lower and go up. I think it's because it's a little darker, a little more bronzer-like. Don't be afraid. I won't leave it like that. <laughs> then I do the other side. Make the funny blush face. <laughs> I have such a busy week, you guys. It's insane. <clears throat> we have a, our yearly sales meeting on Tuesday. And the sales reps come in on... I'm the only inside sales rep. And then the other sales reps are in other states. So they come in Tuesday. And I take my kabuki brush and kind of, you know, just make sure everything looks all nice and pretty. And blended. So the sales reps come in Tuesday and we have half the meeting on Tuesday. And then we have to, we, well, we don't have to. We all get to go out for dinner on um, Tuesday night. And then we have a meeting again on on the half day on Wednesday and then the sales reps travel back. So I have that going on which means I'm going to miss an exercise class and I don't really like to do that. Okay so now I'm going to use, I'm just going to take out this two-sided pencil deal because I don't appreciate that. I'm going to use toasted all over the lid. So I have to miss kickbox hand Tuesday and then I'm off on Friday because Thursday night I have to go um, about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes from here. I'm on this youth board, I said that in my last video, um, for our church synod and it's fun. We, we, we plan gatherings for the, there are kids on the youth board as well and they actually plan the gatherings and we just kind of help them along and I'm the registrar for that. So it's a busy, sleepless weekend. We don't, you know, I usually end up getting about four or five hours of sleep each of the three nights. Um, and that is not enough for me. <laughs> I wonder if I should zoom you in some more here. Oh boy, this is dangerous. Okay, so we'll see. If I, if you guys can't see things, then I'm gonna have to not even upload this and then I'm gonna be sad. Let me turn a little bit. So I just pat it all over. And I bring it up into the crease a little bit. Nothing crazy. Alright. I have to stop. I can't tell if I'm leaning on the shot or not. Okay. I, <laughs> I see why this is so hard. Hi. Okay. So I did that, I'm sorry, with my 239 brush from MAC. Okay, well, one side of it anyway. And then I'm going to take my um, Sigma E35, which is just like a MAC 222. <clears throat> and I'm going to take... Holy Moses, how are you guys going to see this? Oh, okay. I'm going to take a combination of Buck and Naked, these two palettes. The two matte palettes. I think the one is too dark and the other is too light for this particular. So I just kind of bop my brush through the two of them, tap it off a little bit, and then I just am trying to blur that line of the toasted. 
and I hold it way out here to help with that. If I don't, it doesn't seem to work as well. So see how that just blended the line out? And the other side. All right, and then I'm gonna take my um, F50, just like a 227 from Mac, and I'm taking that in Virgin, and just kind of doing my highlight. I, I always do my highlight before my crease color. I don't know if that's right or wrong. Sometimes I have to do it again, or even things out again, but I, I really like that. And so sometimes I'll take this on the side too, just to help blur out that line. And then I used a 217 from MAC, or the Sigma E25. Itch my nose. <laughs> and I'm going in the color Hustle. Just this one, right here. I'm just gonna deepen that art, set, our art side, <laughs> outside corner. So I just kind of lay it down first. I mean, seriously, there's just no. It's just what I do. <laughs> oh, yay, yay. Okay, and then I blend it with my 217 into the crease. I just pull it into the crease a little bit. And I always bring it down a little bit at an angle on the side. And see, that's too far out for me. And also I'll fix that, I'll show you how to fix that. So I just take that 227 brush and I just fix that up. So I always start with it just a little bit. I guess I can't tell if you guys can really tell that, but um, I always start with a little bit of color and then go in and try to build it up. Otherwise, I'll look like a fruit cake. So yeah, I was talking about my wig. I can't talk and put on makeup at the same time, apparently. Um, <laughs> Alright, so let's do the other side. <clears throat> so the point of that ramble is that I have a lot, a lot going on this week. I always bring cookies to the gatherings because the kids like my cookies. Um and I totally ran out of time. I could have made cookies while I was watching the Packers beat the San Diego Char Chargers and become 8-0 on the season. <laughs> but um, I was a little too distracted by watching them because they were giving me some heart palpitations and they weren't, they weren't playing up to their potential and it was ticking me off. And I couldn't possibly concentrate on homemade Oreos and chocolate chip cookies while I was watching the Packers this week. I had decided that if they had gotten out to a really good lead, which they did for a while, but if they had gotten out for a really good lead, um, that then I would go make my cookies. So now I'm going to have to figure out some night this week to do it, and I, I guess that's going to have to be tonight. Okay, so I hope you guys can kind of see that. And then, oh, I forgot to pull this out. I remember that I had decided that it wasn't purple enough for me. So um, I, I pulled out Shadowy Lady. Which. Holy Moses, is that color right there? And I took that with my Essence of Beauty. Um, little brush like this. There were two of them that came in the pack. One really tiny one when I bought these. One really tiny one and one not so tiny. Hello, there. So I used the not so tiny one. And a little shadowy lady. 
because I had wanted to purple it up a little bit. Now I don't really need to purple it up today, but for the sake of doing what I did, I'm going to show you guys. So I just kind of swirl some in the outside corner there. It's, you know, very professional, I'm sure. And I really just, like I said, just add it a little bit. And then I take my 217 and just blend it out again. Doesn't make a huge difference, but it made a little bit of difference. So I don't know if you can see the difference between, probably not. But trust me, <laughs> it made a difference. Place some color, swirl it in, and then blend it out. So then, so that is the shadow portion. Oh, jeez. This is way too long of a video. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. <clears throat> I could try to edit, but I just don't... You know what the problem, I, the reason I don't edit you guys is because I don't have the... Oh, I'm using the Crash liner from Urban Decay. 24-7 liner. First, I have to clean up my... Remember I told you guys when I was talking about concealer that I always once have to go like this under my little... my wrinkles. So I put the crash liner on. And I'm just... just evening out. I'm not tugging, I promise. You know, I know that people always <laughs> yell at people in the comments, which just kills me, for doing things like that. Okay, A, we all know that. And B... Um, that looks weird. And B, um, those people have to be like 20. People that don't have eyes that have lived some life. Um, and are a little droopy. I mean, who are we kidding? Eyes get a little droopy when you get older. Well, at least mine did. So I just run this along the lash line. top and bottom oh yeah so the reason I don't edit is because my computer for some reason can't handle the software that came with this camera because of the HD now I'm taking that same brush with a little bit of hustle actually no I'm not that's a lie well I was doing that, but that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my MAC 219. Use my MAC instead of my Sigma because it's a little more pointed and dense. And then I'm going to take that in Hustle and just run it along the lash line. On the top. And on the bottom. So anyway, my computer, <laughs> holy log stories interrupted. Um, my computer is not equipped to handle the HD or something on this. So every time I watch a video back to make sure I, it's not completely ridiculous, it like, the picture starts and stops all the time and I can't get the editing software to work very well. So I, have, I am on the hunt for a new um, laptop, but... It's just not a priority, and I, you know, they're they're turning out okay as is, so, you know, could be worse. Okay, so, eyeliner, smudged out with that, and then that day, um, I also put some creep on the outside corner to deepen it up a little bit. That part I'm not going to do today, because, I mean, I am going to work after all. The other thing that I did that day that I, I really don't want to do today um, just because it'll make it look completely out of control is I used my Tarte Amazonian Clay um, Oh, what the heck, I'll do it. <laughs> In the waterline. So, I just 
pull down a little bit. See, now I'm out of order because I wasn't going to do it. Normally I do that first, and then I do the shadow underneath here, because I think it, little, it really helps it sit better. Nobody's going to even watch this because it's so long. Then I do my upper water line. Of course I use this eyeliner because it really stays put in the water line. That's my gap. A hustle on this one. So I find that the shadow that gets on there not only kind of helps it blend in a little bit better, but it um, helps the shadow stay a little bit better. All right. I'm going to use my Tarte Slides Camel Lashes. I'm going to pause it, though, because um, this is that will take forever. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so I decided to do one eye before, and then I'm going to do this one and let you guys see just how great this stuff is. I, I think... I put a little bit here, but I mean, just that this mascara is just so amazing. Would be helpful if you could actually see. So I have all my little tricks of the way as I get all my lashes. So I usually really coat the first one with one pull out of the wand. Whatever, whatever's left on that, oops, <laughs> whatever's left on that. That's what I put on the bottom because I don't want a ton on the bottom. But I could use a little more. Um, and then I go in again and do a second coat. That's what works for me with this mascara. Um, I use the same trick though. Boy, trying to do this in the camera. <laughs> That's a trick. I don't know how people do that. All right. So aside from my lips, that is the finished look. I'm gonna move this away. Um, so hopefully that looks similar to how it did that day. Um, you know, I'll, I'll pause it and go get my lip stuff just to remind you. Hang on. I mean, this video's already long. What's another few minutes, right? <laughs> so the lips that I use, I'll try to, I don't know that you really need to be zoomed in for my lips, but um, I used, I think I used Subculture, I either used Subculture or Whirl, I can't remember which, might have been Whirl, but I think Whirl's in my purse. So I just lined my lips like this, I don't know why, but I always, I do the outside first. And then I kind of use the side of it and fill them in a little bit. Again, I don't know why. Sorry, you guys. Oh, I stink at this. <laughs> I could try to do it in here, I suppose. Okay. And then I used <clears throat> one of my favorite lipsticks from MAC, which is Cream Cup. I can't. I definitely think the cream sheens are my favorite finish from MAC. And I have a tissue here, so I'll just use this. I usually blot a little bit. And then I used Underage by MAC. I don't have a, t I have like three MAC glosses, but this, I really like Underage. And I usually get a little off of the tip on the, like that. And then I do it kind of on the middle and go like that. Don't squish your lips together. I think I learned that from Allie. 
She goes, say mama, mama. <laughs> okay. That is now the completed finished look. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoy that. Today, what is today? Oh, today's Monday. So I thought I would record this today. I'll try to, jeez, Kristen. I will try to get this up. I'm sorry it's so long. I, I don't, I will try to edit if I can figure it out how, if I can figure out how to get some of that out of there. Or you can just see me and all my, how long it takes me to put on my makeup when I'm talking at the same time. All right. Have a great week, you guys. And I will talk to you very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.